On this episode, I eat cookies. I talk about how maintenance is a fairy tale. And I'll probably ask myself a few questions and answer them. Get ready for it because it's going to be a good one. Before starting any exercise program, always get cleared by a primary care doctor. Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with The Physiology Show, episode number three. And, you know, I mean, today, I have cookies. <laughs> Get your cookies out. Because, you know, every week it just seems like there's new things pulling my attention away from, you know, the, the work, the workout. And there it is. Right? That's a good cookie. That's a good cookie. And that's okay. Because every now and again, it's not going to hurt you. It's just not. And I think that's that's what it is. Is eating a cookie is not going to hurt you. And when it comes down to like actually giving giving it your all every day, believing in you, you know, all that stuff that happens up here every single day. That's what, that's what it's. So, yeah, I mean, it's just funny. We're, I'm 200, what, 216 workouts created and I, I i'm nowhere near perfect like the kids right the kids completely they're always around so you have to adapt you have to adapt your your movements your understandings your schedule around them so find movements body weight movements like the ones basically that I create every day that they're going to help, right? They're going to help no matter what. So the stages of change, boring, pre-contemplation, contemplation, all the way up to, you know, action, action. And it basically comes down to maintenance, right? If you're doing your bare minimum every day, and you're barely, like you say you're active every day, and you are, you know, you say you're running around the house and cleaning and sweating, you're only in the maintenance phase of maintaining what you currently have. Right? So, yeah, right? Be happy about it. Own it. And then if there's something that you don't want to eat, you don't want to have, then then don't. I don't I don't preach food because I don't count calories. It's more or less just div. Be healthy up here. Tell yourself some pretty positive stuff every day, and and go from there. Like. <clears throat> getting to the maintenance phase of any exercise program is a fairy tale. It's a straight up fairy tale. Because at the end of the day, whoever looks in the mirror and says, wow, maintain that. I just want to maintain what I have right now. Nobody. 
Nobody does. And if you think you do, you're lying to yourself. You really are. Because 99.9% .9 of the people lie to themselves every day. Your brain actually tricks you into screwing yourself over. Look up Mel Robbins and all that fun stuff that she's talking about. She's completely right. So the maintenance phase, maintaining what I have right now because I look good and I feel good, eat your cookie. Eat your ice cream. Everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. Why? Because that's how it works. My hope is, is this is actually working. My hope is, is this is actually working because it looks like it looks like it's so broken up because our internet connection here is very, very not good. That's okay. Episode three can be like the broke edition of whatever's happening. I mean, we we all just persevere, right? You, you just move forward. You move forward with what you're doing. This is just another story in the books for an episode that didn't go as planned. But <clears throat> so when you're when you're talking about maintenance, maintaining what you have. If you're not willing to do one extra round, one more minute, one more anything, then don't be surprised if you're still looking the same way. I'm not outside of any of this. There are days where I get one round of a workout done. I want all six rounds done. But there are days where I don't get all six rounds done. That's okay. That's okay with me. You know, I mean, we have, if you're doing this thing called life, if you're doing this thing called life in a way that supports you, then everything 30 years from now, think of it that far ahead. 30 years from now, if I still get to wake up every morning and move and do anything that's a win i don't do any of this stuff right here what i'm doing right here already have it figured out i'm doing it for the people who complain who complain and they say they don't have time and just so you know like last week last week i told you i was going to tell you the story of my wife and like how our first daughter our first born came to my wife survived an amniotic fluid embolism. So not a lot of people survive those. Not enough to, for anybody to even know what that is. Because the only way you'd figure out that you had an amniotic fluid embolism, an AFE for short, is an autopsy. At least that's what the doctors told us a few days after all of the tests that she went through. I can talk about it now because it's four years ago. Four years ago, almost to this day, June 6th. No, it wasn't almost to the day. It was June 2nd, 2012. But either way, month, first four weeks, I had to get work out in. I had to. Even though it's like, you got to go work out. You're driving me nuts. It's like I was driving myself nuts. That's how it worked. And as a parent, you, you have to find that place of self-worth in here. You have to. Or else you're going nowhere. No amount of maintenance, no amount of working out, no amount of cookies. Are gonna... 
unless you decide to make some changes. This right here is the easiest part of my day. I get to create. I get to talk about what I know. But at the end of the day, you have the tools. You have the same tools that I do. You have the same tools. You just have to decide to use them. I'm a coach. I'm a dad. I'm a husband. You're going to use the tools. I'm not going to hold your hand. I'm not going to spoon feed you answers. They have the same resources that I have. So wouldn't you go out there and own it? Why wouldn't you go out there and give it your all? And I'm I'm talking to myself here too. I mean I'm literally talking to myself. <laughs> but I'm good with it. Because all this does is it fuels right here. Meaning I might actually be doing something. Right, because I feel good right here. That is what it's all about. So episode three, right? Doesn't matter how long it is, how short it is. As long as you out of what I'm talking about, that's the important part. So episode three is stop chasing a fairy tale. My advice for you today is work within your comfort zone. Stay there for a while until that can, you are bursting at the scenes going, I need more. I want more. Because then you'll make time for more. That's it. Facebook Live is actually working pretty well. Pretty good today. It says connection is weak. Probably would. I'll take another bite of cookie. And own it. Because when you go to the store, the food portion, you get to choose what you put in that basket, that cart, whatever you want to call it. You choose it. You don't have to buy the cookies. Because really, if, if I buy it, I'm going to eat it. I chose to put those things in the car. But that's how it works. That is literally how it works. There it is. That's episode number three. I don't want to keep, the, keep you here too long because you got to go work out. <laughs> I got to know. I, you got to know I do. So get after what you want in life. If you want to hop on my newsletter, head to jedcoverness.com forward slash newsletter. And there I send out daily messages, daily motivational messages about anything and everything. Give it a go. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. I'm good with it. And like, comment, and share wherever you see this. Because there are people out there that have been watching my stuff now for over a year and I had no idea. I have no idea if you're watching or not until somebody just completely was like, yeah, they, they comment and I'm just like, that's a win, man. That is a win. So straight up win when that happens. Right? Because I'm, I'm going in for the ask. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe. 
sign up, do whatever it is you need to be doing, where that button's down here or over here or up there or over here. Doesn't matter where the button's at, just push it. Push the button. <laughs> And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.